right, guys, I want to just quickly do a follow-up video on um, stocks and how you would go about purchasing them and uh, looking up information about them. Okay, we just finished up learning about corporations and a little bit about the stocks, uh, stock market. And uh, so I wanted to give you three more slides uh, to kind of help you uh, just get a little bit more understanding. And then uh, I have, I think, five questions uh, here at the end of these three slides. So just if you would, just again, take out a piece of paper and uh, or your computer and type these notes up uh, as I kind of quickly talk you through them. Okay, we're going to start out buying stocks 101 how to go about doing it right so let's say you're blessed you got some money right and you want to think about buying some stock well you the person with the money wanting to purchase some stock you're called an investor and as an investor you're going to go visit a brokerage firm right a brokerage firm would be a place that sells stock to investors okay or people that have money they act as a go-between between the company selling the stock and the investor wanting to buy it. Here are some popular names of uh, uh, companies that exist in our country that are brokerage firms. Raymond James, like our stadium is named after Raymond James Stadium for the Bucks play. Merrill Lynch and Charles Schwab. You may have heard of these uh, brokerage firms before uh, just through advertisements. Okay, uh, like I mentioned before, the, the go-between and they do charge a fee for their services. Brokerage firms now, they hire brokers. You may have heard the term stockbroker. These are the folks that work for a brokerage firm and who you deal with when you're wanting to purchase stock. Okay, investors, me and you who have money want to buy stocks. You can also stay home and buy stock online through the internet. Here are some popular online brokerage firms you may have heard of through advertisements. TD Ameritrade, E-Trade or Fidelity. These are just a list uh, to list a few. There are probably 50 to 100 different companies, but these are the most popular. Okay, now on this slide here, we're going to talk about stock exchanges. This is actually where your broker, your brokerage firm, will go to purchase stocks. Okay, a stock exchange is the actual market where uh, uh, between buyers and sellers of the stock market and other securities. Securities is just kind of a word that could mean stocks, bonds, mutual funds, all investment type things, okay? But the stock exchange is going to be where uh, the buying and selling actually occurs. So your broker goes to the stock exchange and purchases stock on your behalf, okay? The stock exchange is where the companies will sell their uh, uh, stock in their company to, uh, to the brokers, okay? Again, investors pay a fee to their broker to purchase stock from the stock exchange. And I want to talk to you now about the two uh, largest or most common stock exchanges that you may have heard of. Okay, first of all, there's something called the New York Stock Exchange. This is the abbreviation for it or the acronym. Okay, it's located on Wall Street. You may have heard this or seen this in a movie. It's the largest stock exchange. Okay, In order for a company to be listed, on this New York Stock Exchange, a company offering stock must prove to, it, prove to the exchange that it's in good financial condition, and most companies that are on the stock exchange are some of the largest and most profitable corporations in the country. Okay? Lastly, let's talk about something called the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is the largest online electronic stock exchange. Everything that happens... Uh, the trading that happens occurs on the computer. The, the, the New York Stock Exchange is an actual brick and mortar uh, building that you can actually go to, where the NASDAQ is uh, more online. Okay, it's all done online on, on electronically. Okay, the NASDAQ lists over 4,000 companies. A few of the companies that are traded through the NASDAQ include Apple, eBay, Google. Microsoft and Tesla. So I'm sure you guys have all heard about those. This is kind of a breakdown of how it all works. You're the, you're the client. You're the client and you have uh, money. You go visit a broker who works for a brokerage firm and they have people that buy and sell stock at either the, NAS, the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, so that's kind of the process of how uh, uh, buying stocks uh, works.
Okay, last slide here. I want to talk to you about the word indexes, okay? Indexes. There's two main indexes or lists that Americans pay attention to. This is going to tell us about the health and strength of our economy by looking at these companies and how they're performing uh, that, are, that are listed on these two indexes here, okay? So the first one is going to be called the Standards & Poor, or abbreviated as the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is an index of the top 500 companies in our nation, basically, uh, and giving us a broad perspective of how the economy is performing by looking at these companies and you know what their stock prices are doing. It mainly lists stocks of companies listed on the New York Stock Exchange, but does include some companies that are listed on the NASDAQ as well. Some of the top five co uh, companies that I, I just Googled it here uh, uh, today uh, are Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, and Johnson & Johnson. So again, you look at their stock prices and it'll tell you, is it going up, down? And that's going to be an indicator about the health and strength of our economy. One of the ind indicators. Then there's something, another index called the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is an index of 30 of the top largest strongest and most influential com uh, companies uh, in various industries such as food, energy, and technology within our country. Okay, It also serves as an indicator of how well our economy is performing. And I just uh, googled their list of, of, of companies and you'll notice uh, many of these companies on here you're familiar with as well. 3M, American Express, Apple, Boeing, Caterpillar, Coca-Cola, Disney, and the list goes on and on. Home Depot, McDonald's, Microsoft, Walmart. Okay. So anyway, uh, Americans follow these companies, see how they're performing, but also to look at where they need to uh, invest their money uh, so they can, you know, make money for themselves or for retirement and those kind of things. Okay. All right. Last slide. This is a checkpoint. I want you to go back through those three slides and answer these five questions based off of what we just talked about. Submit that to me on Edsby uh, uh, as soon as you can. And then this is it. This is the last part of the stocks that we needed to cover, and we're going to be moving on uh, uh, to, a, to a new chapter.